So you're coming out as the Queen of Swords energy. This is letting me know that you are clearing things away that no longer serve you. But through temperance, not everyone is hmm, feeling the new you or your new perspective. Hmm. But I feel this is bringing in justice, balance, and karma for those who cannot reveal or understand the naked truth. I feel there could be a lot of consequences as well as life lessons for all parties invested. Hmm. Ace of Swords is letting me know I see you increasing power through a separation or justice being served. Hmm. I see clarity in solutions where there are endings through transformation and rebirth. I see spiritual growth and change for you while others are experiencing a death through ego. Hmm. So it seems like you could be going through a rebirth, a challenging state in life where you could be self-resilient, hmm. non-conforming, but I also feel you could be leaving some things behind and some people or things are not liking the position that you're now standing in or holding. For many of you, you could be in a space where you're no longer settling. Hmm. You're setting your intentions here with the Nine of Cups, with the Knight of Pentacles. I see something moving slowly. I see slow change, but something is definitely in a space of steady progress. Hmm. But I see you standing your ground, Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups is letting me know you're going through an awakening yourself. Hmm. This awakening is an emotional change. This is you being more open. Hmm. While others are believing or feeling you're being elusive, you're going through some changes that are meant to be. So something is moving slowly but steady through your source of letting me you know this is after you set some things aside. This is after you went in a went into a state of isolation, separation. Someone feels like you're detached. When in fact maybe that could just be the case when it comes to deception, illusion, someone trying to get you to forget the details, but I feel you could be finding purpose instead. A cycle has changed or something has come to an end. You're at a turning point. I feel the possibilities have changed now that you have set your intentions or you have severed ties with something or someone. Hmm. This Nine of Cups is letting me know you're no longer allowing someone to get under your skin or you're no longer investing in something where there is no end. Hmm. You're coming out as someone who is soul searching, withdrawing through isolation. This is a time where you are creating, manifesting, inspired action. Hmm. This is why you are coming into completion and gaining increased power through clarity, solutions. Hmm. Ace of Swords, as well as the Magician, you are resilient in overcoming something big. Hmm. I feel the wind is changing in your direction, in your favor, while you make decisions through options and even fears. You're becoming more hmm, strategic, but also struggling. Hmm. So it seems like you're not sure about something, but whatever you're working through is going to benefit you in a very big way. I could you be I feel you could be in a space where you're evolving. Healing, making choices, and reaching a milestone in doing so. I feel you're very favorable in this season, and you're doing things without fear as you're going through an awakening, a judgment, rebirth. I feel this is big change for you. I feel you're going through a completion here with the world card, and this could be good for you. In fact, this is going to be great for you, but not everyone is pleased with you leveling up or leaving them behind. Here with the Four Swords energy here, you could be isolating yourself and clearing your mind, being more free. You're in a state of rest, even if you're isolating So I see you could be activating something within. Hmm. You're on a journey, a fresh start. 
I feel you could be going with your gut while you allow something to be what it is. I see you taking sacrifice, but it's also inspiring new change, a new perspective. I see you surrendering, rethinking a new perspective. Five of Swords is letting me know someone is defensive about you letting go, surrendering, or sacrificing the connection you once had with them. I feel someone is very defensive about you surrendering or letting go. Hmm. I feel someone is definitely in their head about you surrendering or letting go. This is someone who never thought that you would evolve or even grow out of them. Hmm. But I feel you surrendering or severing ties was definitely shocking for someone who never thought that you could make the change. I feel someone is going through an inner struggle where there's a lot of tension, also sadness when it comes to losses. I feel there's also embarrassment for mistakes that are made, but someone is still not <sighs> resonating with something. Um, so, for many of you, you have definitely extended an olive branch to someone to make something right, but someone was just not ready. But I feel now that you have moved on or you feel someone will never change, someone wants to make something right, someone wants you to feel differently about them, but I feel what you feel differently about is you. Now that you feel differently about self and what you deserve, many of you may never look back. I feel you could be opening up to something new when it comes to family, commitment, something domestic. I feel this is nothing materialistic, even if it's something to do with your career. You're coming out as a free spirit, someone who is bold, someone who is going through a renewal. This is a collaborating moment. Hmm. I see you making the effort. I see you also being recognized here with the two of swords in the reverse. You're no longer feeling trapped. Two of cups in the reverse. You're no longer feeling trapped by a connection that should have been there for you. I see victory, success, and you letting go. You being more appreciated. I see you coming out of an illusion and fear, doing the hard work and bringing something to focus into completion. I see your dedication and free will paying off. I see improvement and victory in store for you. I feel your dreams coming true. Are you setting the blueprint? You setting the tone. I see you setting the tone in a renewal, healing, peaceful energy here. This is a peaceful moment or time for you that you are creating and you don't even know it. I see you've been very patient over time. Seven of Pentacles is letting me know that you were a harness in a situation, stability in a situation, but now you're about to get that same energy in return. Hmm. You're coming out as a kindred spirit. Whatever belongs to you is about to come your way, whether that is a career, a relationship, or just a new beginning. I see something mutual coming your way, four of wands. This is the higher front energy here of foundations and contracts, connections, communication, desires, seeing opportunities that are now about to go your way. After so much patience, I see you stepping into your manifestations and your rewards. Ace of Pentacles is letting me know that you're stepping into something that you least expected, as you may not even believe what comes your way, but trust me, the reward is yours. Hmm. Six of Cups, someone could be nostalgic, reminiscing, and it's bringing tension because it's a, it's a, a battle believing you have moved on or it's a battle believing something with you just won't be easy this is someone who believes the love that was once given is now unrequited i feel this is someone who wants to celebrate yet they are lacking when it comes to decision and loyalty i feel there's also past life energy here for many of you one more card here one more card here holy spirit yeah, for many of you, you can empathically feel there's big changes coming your way as you leave some things behind. You are, you are sparking something. You are sparking something when it comes to affairs with the heart. Ace of Wands is letting me know this is filled with new beginnings, passion, inspired energy. 
Wow. Determination, big change here with the Knight of Swords energy. You're clearing something away, but I feel you're also making room for something so much bigger, so much more. I feel there will be something very mutual coming your way. This could be in career or even love, but whatever it is, it's going to be big. Bigger than you ever expected. Let's get some more energy here. I feel this is a situation that many of you never truly expected. Whether this is the loss of something or something that is coming your way, this is very unexpected energy. Even if you are manifesting, it's bigger than you thought you deserved. I feel someone could be struggling with the fact that you're moving on or creating space without them. Hmm. Someone could be going through a dark night of a soul, heavy regret as they suffer in silence. I feel someone is silently com contemplating you or seeking answers, but also dealing with unfamiliar feelings about ghosting or disappearing on you. Or just being unreliable. Someone really disappointed you in a very unexpected way. Now they're getting that energy in return as you go solo. This could be a solo path that needed to be taken. I feel something needed to take place for you to have inspired action in a different way because many of you really don't give up easily, but I feel you letting go or letting something be allows you to be who you need to be. Hmm. You're coming out as an unconventional soul who is creating or inspiring oneness with the universe or your ancestors i see you evolving even when you feel you're not hmm. lessons are being learned i feel you're evolving here you're rising and accepting something when it comes to your journey and it's causing someone to be mesmerized by you blind by your light but also affected hmm. affected in a big way because someone is just missing you in silence Someone is swimming through their emotions as well as their memories when it comes to you, but if someone is coming up short because they're not wanting to recognize the true pain they have given, the true disappointment. I feel over time that has been wasted. Someone has also wasted time in getting to know you or being in a space where they can create memories. Someone is going through some uncomfortable karma when losing you or losing your respect. Someone has a very guilty conscience when it comes to the bad blood between the two of you, but I feel many of you are in a state of completion when it comes to a twin flame journey. I feel you could be in the final steps of a, an awakening. You could be reaching a closing. This could be sudden realization as you step into a new season and as you take that change or that leap. Hmm, someone feels they, they feel like time is slipping away and they're drowning in misery. I feel someone doesn't want to be left behind but I feel something needed to be done because there was no change. This is someone who was just giving you the same old person, the same old energy every time. Wow. Because they have yet to master self. Something just keeps getting in the way causing something to unravel with you because you are divinely protected. Many of you have purified your soul through releasing what no longer serves you. Yeah. So for many of you, someone is going through unfamiliar pain because they didn't think something through. Someone didn't look past their nose when they were thinking past you. And that, well, when they were thinking about you, now they're missing you in silence. Mm. Silently contemplating and still not coming up with answers. Someone is about to do something unexpected. Mm. So it seems like someone is still playing games with the heart. This is a push and pull situation of a runner chaser dynamic that is losing steam. This is a someone who is waiting for you to reach out when they know they owe you that courtesy. I feel this is someone who loves to make something a big deal. Someone is in the energy of wanting to project something even though someone is wanting you to soften your heart someone knows they are in a space where they don't have a lot of rope hmm. or they don't have a lot of effort or position to say much hmm. 
This is why someone is stuck in a space of reminiscing and just thinking about you because they feel they no longer have the opportunity or the space to come near you. Yeah. But I feel this energy is struggling along. And struggling through some real regrets, replacing or replaying the events. I feel someone is replaying the events and still not knowing the true level of disrespect. Or still not even understanding, understanding the level of disrespect that they have given. Many of you feel like you can't even express what you're truly feeling because you may feel like it won't even be heard. Hmm. I feel like you're coming out as a natural leader, someone who is grounding themselves through personal steps or personal values. I feel you are longing to be connected to something. So I feel your longing to be connected has caused you to be in a space of evolving. Someone's in, in regret because they were not there to see you transform or evolve. I feel this was an intense partnership. Hmm. But I feel many of you, you needed to be broken free of this. Hmm. I feel you needed to be broken free of the social expectations, hmm. a dynamic where there was truly no true communication, no loyalty, no true respect. Hmm. This is, was very unorthodox. Hmm. I feel someone is collect, connected to a collective space where there's no emotional balance, but I feel you have developed an emotional resilience that someone doesn't really understand, and I feel they're in regret because they couldn't travel or do something with you but I feel someone is wanting to be impulsive this is very this is someone who is very spontaneous has no limits but is still stuck in the pleasures this energy is high strong and struggling with material ways of thinking they like to think of the material things of life as their status quo or Someone's just unsure about personal changes or even their identity, but they're wanting to negotiate with you. This energy feels like they no longer have the position to speak up or speak out. They just can't pop up on you. And this is why someone is very emotional, because they no longer rule the roost. Hmm. I feel this is someone who is now hiding their personal identity and very emotional and needing to be in a space where they're validated by you, but I feel you no longer want to be in a space where you want their attention. Hmm. You're no longer in a space where you're wanting to belong. Hmm. So it seems like whoever this is that has caused you to reflect on another path, they like a challenge, but they're too proud. I feel this is someone who is emotionally attached to possessions, but they're inherently wounded when it comes to trust and coming closer in relationships. This is why this energy is showing up fractured or fragmented, a tumultuous social interaction. Hmm. So it seems like this is someone who needs to choose their words wisely because they have already screwed up a lot of things with you. In fact, for many of you, you feel like they have already blown it. I feel this is someone who needs to say the quiet part out loud. Mm. Or many of you have chosen to do so, but I feel this wordsmith feels like your words cut deep. Mm. But I feel this is the very energy that is responsible for the structure dissolving. This energy is responsible for the transformation in this relationship, good or bad. I feel someone is emotionally in another world. They just don't know how to connect the way that you do. But I feel this energy is wanting you to be in between worlds and not really knowing which way to go. This energy wants you to be curious, not even realizing you may not be looking back. 
I feel you could be in a space where you're discovering your own personal truth, your own personal growth. And this is why someone is frustrated with you. Frustrated that you're not giving something the attention that they believe it deserves. But I feel you've got you've gone above above and beyond. And whoever this is, they're just upset. They're just feeling some type of way now that you are at a distance or you finally see and know your worth. I feel there's a lot to be learned here. Hmm. As I sense many of you have learned a lot and has grown immensely from this journey. Wow. But I feel when it comes to your counterpart or your loved one, they were not so lucky. I feel you could be coming out as a beacon of light. I feel you're coming out as a beacon of light because your energy, your love, it was authentic. And this is why someone is not coming out so lucky. It's because they just can't get right. I feel many of you are coming out as a beacon of light because you're investing your time, your energy, you're investing wisely. I feel you investing wisely has caused a spiritual growth where you're uprooting bad habits to awaken to love. You're on a new path. A new path where someone is feeling left out, but I feel it's the mess they made and someone is just afraid to lay in the bed. The, to lay in the bed that has been made. Wow. Because even if someone seems to be content with their choices, they're not as they have invested their time and their energy into things that fed on their soul rather than fed into their soul as the past that they chose only destroyed what could have been only because they got lost in games that they chose to play i feel this is someone who has a very narrow mindset not really understanding how things got to this Base, but I feel you uprooting or leaving some bad things behind has awakened some real things for you. As I said before in the reading, things that you never expected when it comes to love, career, connections. For many of you, you have learned some valuable lessons and understanding investing your time wisely is the key. Because not everyone deserves your time or your energy. I feel many of you have learned you can't escape your shadow self. So you have learned to deal with it. Everyone has a dark, a dark side to their ego. But I feel you have learned to tame the beast within. I feel many of you have found a way around the conflict to find resolution. This is why many of you have found solace, silence, hmm. silence within the noise where I sense closed doors got you nowhere. Wow. So it seems like you could be walking in silence or silencing the noise by closing doors that got you nowhere. I feel you have opened doors to a sacred situation, a sacred path, a sacred contract where you're building bridges and not walls. I feel it's the little things that count when it comes to you where you could be mastering a path, mastering lessons. Hmm. I feel you could be on a journey where lessons are your guide and you're trusting the journey hmm. I, tr I feel you're trusting the journey and no longer forcing something and this is causing an awakening a rebirth within your life but I feel it's the little things it's the little things that create this new beginning in love where you're guided by what you have invested hmm. I feel what you have previously invested in got you nowhere, but I feel this new beginning, this new season, it's all going to change. And I feel there are energies that feel like they're going to be left in the dust or left in the past or just a memory hmm. who feel they can't accept the fact that they're not a part of something. So, 
for many of you you're trusting the journey while someone else goes through an ego death someone knows something isn't right you're moving different thinking different your whole vibe has changed only because of your spiritual growth and the fact that you have learned some hard lessons through some very low vibrational people or situations but I feel someone is upset that you can't see things their way or you won't reconsider hmm. I feel you're just in a season of improvising and the most high your spiritual guides are wanting you to know that nothing is lost I feel you have invested your time wisely and this is why you have become a beacon of light a beacon of light where you're no longer accepting what is not owed to you what doesn't belong to you because you now know what you allow will always be in a space to continue I feel you are coming out as something that is rare and unique destined for new beginnings destined for change destined for greatness this is why I said it is important that you do not settle someone is wanting you to believe that they are your soulmate when they are just a lesson a painful ending where you are to use the pain as fuel I feel a separation a new beginning a loss where you feel you have taken a great sacrifice has caused you to live outside the box and this is what's causing you to be unique within your gifts I feel gifts that have been hidden within you are now being exposed in a very big way where I feel you are in the first steps of a hidden treasure a hidden treasure that is you uniquely belonging to you something that will liberate you in a space or in a way where something is not foreseen hmm. so whatever this is that is coming your way you don't see it coming hmm. but I feel you're on the right path you're on the right path when it comes to focusing on yourself you're focusing on the long game of something and I feel something is in the making I feel something is in the making when it comes to you walking in stillness standing your ground I see happy endings here I see happy endings for you believing in self believing in what you thought was impossible but I feel whatever you are stepping into is important not just for you but those who look up to you those who love you those who truly believe in you because whatever this is it is divinely guided as you are divinely assisted in career transition new beginnings a higher view a higher perspective whatever it is it belongs to you I feel you could be in a space of transition transformation when it comes to relationship a path to love whatever it is you are embracing change as you embrace what is meant for you what is unseen to you whatever it is it's going to be an amazing story as I see cycles I see cycles of change but you must know these cycles they have purpose